Michael Malentobin with Charlie Phelps for Summo TV, and we are here with Megan and Derek as new employees for Summo. Can you tell me a little bit about what it is to be employed by Special Olympics? Sure, yeah. So um, I'm absolutely loving it. I've been here since July. My title is Health and Wellness Manager. Um, so one of the big things that I'm doing is designing health and wellness programs for you guys, the athletes, um, yes. to make sure that you're getting those through training camps, through different special programs we might be putting on, and we're going to start offering that at events and hopefully your practices soon. Yes, we, I enjoyed the camp that we, we just had. Okay. Derek, can you answer the same question? Uh, yes, I mean, my title with Special Olympics Missouri is campus host. I'm the very first athlete to be hired by Special Olympics to work uh, for the organization, which is actually a dream of mine, and that has been a dream of mine for the past five years. And as if, you know, ever since I heard about, you know, this build, uh, Training for Life campus being built, I'm like thinking to myself, you know, and I've been told that, you know, there would be opportunities for new hires and stuff, you know, and I knew I wanted to be a part of that. Derek, what do you think about working on some of staff as a athlete? Oh my gosh, um, it is really cool to be, you know, not only an athlete, but a staff member for Special Olympics. It has been absolutely really remarkable. Um, I have some of the best minds in the world that I work with and stuff, you know, that I just love being around and stuff, you know, being able to, you know, interact, you know, with staff as, a, as an athlete and stuff, you know, and being able to, you know, uh, communicate inside and outside the office and stuff is really, really awesome. Megan, can you tell me a little bit about what it is, what the wellness, uh, health and wellness plan is for our athletes? Sure. So we are planning on providing um, our athletes a fully all-inclusive health and wellness program. So we want to focus on everything from nutrition education to physical activity, social emotional wellness. So that's everything from stress management to mindfulness, even focusing on sleep. Um, the plan is in 2019 to be partnering with schools, with um, coaches to make sure that you guys are getting it in your practices to make sure we can, um, you know, help you perform the best in your sports and to also offer this at training camps, different special events that we're having, uh, maybe that be at the campus or across the state, and then also make sure we're offering health and wellness um, at your Special Olympics events. So we really just want to make sure that we are helping you guys live your best life, not only through sports, but health and wellness as well. Megan, what do you like about the TF Training for Life campus? Oh, wow. Um, I really would say just the energy that is there. It's, you know, you might have long days there, but every time when you, you pull up to work the next day, the excitement is back to go in there and work. Um, I think one of my favorite things was the first training camp. It really felt like everything was coming to life with the athletes in there. Yes. Um, it was just an amazing weekend. So I would say um, I'm really excited for 2019 to have more training camps and get the opportunity to work at those. Are you guys ready for Christmas? Absolutely. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think very many people are ready for Christmas. I must have all my shopping done. Uh, I am still working on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Megan and Derek and Alan. This is Somo TV, and good night. Come on out to the greatest plunge on earth to support Special Olympics Missouri athletes. Grab your family, friends, a towel, and of course a costume, and plan a trip to your choice of 11 frigid bodies of water this January, February, and March. Sponsored by your local law enforcement, proceeds support 15,000 children and adults with intellectual disabilities in year-round sports training and competition throughout the Show Me State. To find out how you can get involved, visit somo.org slash plunge. So get your family and friends together and take the plunge to make a difference in an athlete's life today.
Idol and what uh, this means to you this weekend. Oh, absolutely. I'm the chairman of the games management team uh, for this games and uh, been doing that for a few years now. Been involved with Special Olympics uh, since probably the middle 90s with when I was with the Missouri Army National Guard. Uh, we really love this event. I, I look forward to helping with Special Olympics as I do throughout the year. Uh, but it's never about me. It's all about you guys and the athletes and making Special Olympics what it is. Lauren, uh, can you tell me a little bit about what got you to volunteer here and what it means? So um, I do my volunteering through the United Way and I heard about the Special Olympics state game so I thought what a great way to get some hours in and I'm um, so excited to be here. It's been a really good opportunity. Okay, so just coming to this event and seeing all the athletes who are so kind, it really like inspires me to want to do more and like help out more people because because of like how kind everyone is here and just like the atmosphere, it makes you feel better about yourself too. Same question. Uh, I really like coming to this event because it means a lot to me. Uh, I have some family who is in SOMO, uh, so sometimes I see them and it's really just fun to cheer everyone on and just have a good time with everyone. Well, it started in 2006 as a way to make sure that our athletes always had a place they could train became a reality in late 2018. 
over 50,000 Special Olympics Missouri athletes, family members, volunteers, and fans have dreamt of this reality for over a decade. One of those fans is Thomas Cleek from Columbia, Missouri. Thomas literally grew up with this project. In fact, since he was a little kid, he's dreamt of what his new home would look like. I can't wait to train at the Training for Life campus. I'm so excited to train and work as a SOMO staff member at the Training for Life campus. It really means a lot. It's a place that all of us athletes can call home and a place that we can train in all of our sports and like a place that we can learn life skills. I could tell you what this campus means to me, but it doesn't matter what it means to me. It matters what it means to our athletes. I'm looking forward to practicing basketball here, softball, bochi, and trying out maybe a new sport. I was like, sweet, man, this is a beautiful place. And I can't uh, wait to come here to start training and working on different things. Oh, I thought it was pretty good, pretty not pretty awesome. And I like the I like the fields, the soccer field and the football field and the track. Well, what I'm looking forward to right now is uh, the training here uh, this summer. Like more athletes can work here too, like employment opportunities, and show uh, people that people with disabilities can work and be successful. It's a place where we call home, and it'll be ours, and it'll be fantastic. This campus means absolutely the world to me. It gives me a chance to meet new people, make new friends and stuff, you know, and just learn all kinds of different things, and also be a part of the um, Healthy Athletes program. I love it. I can actually, I can actually call this home now. I'm looking forward to trying to compete and train on this field so I can get another shot at nationals. When I walk through the doors this morning, I'm like, hey, my dream has come true and I'm, I'm excited and hope to spend more many times here. We're going to have good times here. My af fellow athletes and I are finally getting to have a future home. You made this happen. Everybody played a role in making this dream become a reality for our athletes. Were you a donor? You provided the backing. Were you on the construction crew? You provided the skilled labor. Were you a board member? You provided the guidance. Were you a cheerleader? You provided the support. Were you an athlete? You provided the inspiration to keep going no matter what obstacles got in our way. Thank you each and every one of you for making this a reality. I would just like to thank all the families, the athletes, and all the donors for making this a dream come true for all of us athletes. Yeah, I'd like to say thank you to everybody. Uh, I like the building pretty good, and uh, I'd like to come back again. Thank you very much. Thank you so very much. Me and my other friends of athletes would like to say thank you and it means so much to us. Thank you. Thank you. I like thank you. It's more and more summer. I'd like to thank everybody. Everybody who put their hard work into it and. Um, Thank all the people, all the, uh, the the people have developed it. We're going to enjoy having this place to call home. Yeah, I would like to thank those that I donated money and everything else. Thank, th thank you. Thank you.
Hi, my name is Beth. I love our new home. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you to all the construction guys and all the donors. We all, all of my fellow athletes and I, we very much appreciate this, and we look forward to your continued support. And rock on, training for life, campus.
Hello, I'm Alan Tobin with Sumo TV, and I'm here with Lena Hudson, Lynn Sheffitt. Ladies, can you tell me a little bit about this last week? What was it that you did, and what did it mean to you? Uh, we went to um, health training in D.C., and we learned how to eat healthy, make better choices, and exercise. What was the most important thing and uh, big eye-opening uh, thing that you got to learn in Washington, D.C. about healthy messengers? Um, the biggest thing I learned is I want to do the Fit Five. The exercise program. Yes. Okay. And I learned that there's there is so much more that I need to learn and want to learn. And I thought I knew knew it, but I guess I don't. <laughs> Can you tell me about what you're gonna take away from this and what your future plans are and your homework that they gave you? Okay, my homework was that I am to do a healthy recipe DVD and to hand it out to all my athletes and my coaches. And to benefit me, to keep me going, is to, I'm hoping that I get to learn more and stay in the healthy athlete stuff. And Lena, you the same question. <laughs> um, my program was that I want to get the other athletes that in Missouri to learn and to eat healthy and talk to them probably at state games and to get them more involved. I was went to D.C. with them to be a facilitator of the training to help facilitate and train them as a senior uh, health messenger. I was one of the very first athletes to be trained as a health messenger two years ago. And I really enjoyed coming to Washington, D.C. to help them and see how much they can learn. And I am looking forward to seeing how much they grow as a health messenger and help them in any way that I possibly can. This is our eighth or ninth year uh, that we've had a partnership with SOMO. Um, I think we're close to a million dollars total uh, in, uh, in total funds raised. Uh, we got into this program um, uh, several years ago at the suggestion of a couple of our board members and it's literally the easiest decision that our board of directors makes all year. Um, it's a great program. Uh, Stephanie Porter, who is our chairwoman this year from Thoroughbred Ford, uh, jumped at the chance to donate uh, the Explorer and, and have, uh, have that be part of the program this year. Uh, the staff at SOMO is great to work with. Susan and, and Mark and everybody does such a great job. And the fact that the money stays 100% with the athlete programs, um, you know, it's, such a, it's such a good cause. Uh, we couldn't be happier uh, just to be such a small part of the whole program. What do you think of your new car? Pretty cool. Nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks like this time. She's well, so uh, we bought two tickets for a raffle from the O'Fallon Police Department at Dunkin' Donuts. Um, we thought it was just a nice, you know, way to contribute. 
Uh, never thought we would win or become <laughs> finalists, that's for sure. Um, and then, you know, we got here today and we were just surprised and, and excited and, and just happy to see what a great field this is for, for the Special Olympics. Um, you know, all up to the point of, of going to grab the key and, and Megan over here, she was the one that picked the, the winning box.